definitely expect i mean with the current depression current global recession downturn which has been there since 2008 we are seeing more and more protectionist measures being un, i mean undertaken by various countries all over the world so obviously you know the so called leisure fair economy has become a completely utopic idea the globalization liberalization which were the order of the day earlier have more or less been given go by by most of the countries and we are telling government of india that if everyone else is doing like this then obviously it should also be followed in india because if indian shipping line cannot go to indonesia and partake in their domestic coastal trade then why should indonesian lines be allowed to come to indian coast and compete at equal or even better footing with the indian shipping lines i'm sure this is making some sense even to the policy makers and i hope that there will be some measures but today in indonesia in malaysia in dubai in many countries even if they allow you know a foreign line to come and operate they do it only through the concept of bhumi putra so the majority stake has to be with the local hmm. the foreign partner can only have a minority stake okay. so that complete 100% open fdi policy in shipping india is one of the unique countries which follow this so we have raised these concerns with our uh, government of india because obviously we are in addition to the economic and commercial reasons we are also as indian citizens very much concerned with the maritime security what happened one year back 2611 mm-hmm. in mumbai has uh, proved beyond doubt that you know maritime security is one of the greatest concerns for the country so even in terms of maritime security we feel that the presence of more and more indian tonnage on the coast is definitely going to aid maritime security whereas if there are more and more foreign sh- ships with foreign crew on the indian coast then security will become a further major concern in addition to i mean maritime security concern also in terms of energy security again india must have a core fleet for carriage of its strategic commodities like crude petroleum products etc and this is a, again a very commonly followed concept all over the world including in usa where they have this concept known as sea lift command so they have a core fleet which comes in i mean in the aid of the country in times of emergency war strife etc